When I first came on board in October of 17, the city was facing a million two hundred thousand dollar a year structural deficit. Jeff Jones says he had his work cut out for him when he took over as Arvin's finance director last year. Fortunately for the Measure L, the one percent sales tax we we adopted back in 2008. We, that's pretty much saved the city. There's no car dealership in town. We don't have a Walmart, so we need to look elsewhere. We need to look for industry. Jones says the answer for revenue was simple. Cannabis is an emerging industry. People are going to have access to it whether or not we have it in this town or not. So last year, Arvin City Council voted to allow it, up to 1,300,000 square feet of indoor commercial cultivation. Then last month, City Council voted to allow potential manufacturers to do more. The cannabis ordinance was amended, adding retail of recreational marijuana through non-storefront businesses, allowing manufacturers to sell directly to customers statewide. You can have it delivered outside of the city via a private vehicle. I call it an Uber delivery system, but you can't, we're not going to have a storefront delivery. You just can't walk in and buy cannabis. Jones says delivery retail is expected to reach customers as close as Bakersfield and as far as Los Angeles and San Francisco. With four companies already starting the process of getting permits in order, Jones says plans to repurpose places once used for agriculture operations like the Salter Labs and Allied Potato Buildings are already in place. They look at the the labor force here in Arvin, they look at the where we are geographically as a, as a quick way to get to the LA market. Jones says it's also Arvin's low competitive tax structure, as low as 2.8 percent, that makes him optimistic that more marijuana businesses will follow. Some of them talking about us becoming the Napa Valley of cannabis. Jones says he expects the industry could create as many as 500 jobs and between 500,000 and two million dollars per year in revenue. And that's why we need cannabis as a way to help provide safety, security, and improve the quality of life for the citizens here. Especially safety. Jones says the city is just getting by with bare minimum police staffing, 20 officers that the city hopes to grow to 30. That's one of the big drivers for the city is, is getting more police officers. According to Jones, if all goes as planned, operations could begin as soon as November. This is the right thing for the city at the right time. It's something, it's something that if all goes well, 10 years from now, the city will be in a lot better shape than it is today.